hello guys welcome to another video tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the optional projects vagrants and uh virtual box so just to, let's get right into it first on your intranet there's a link to download your vagrant but just in case you're wondering how to search for it on google you can just do vagrant download for windows your very first search option by hashicorp please open it and it should take you to this page if you are in this page you are actually in the right place next up it's a game virtual box and I want to download for windows and your very first search results oracle vm virtual box this is the download page so this is actually for windows if you are using linux to download you could switch it to linux but for windows which most of us are using i included this is how to download so the very first thing you want to do is to download your virtual box and your vagrant or else all other steps wouldn't work to download your vagrant click here amd64 do not use this download link here as it wouldn't work so just come down click on amd64 and once you do that your vagrant as you can see down here has already started downloading i have downloaded mine before that's why i post this download or please do not post your own or cancel it allow it to download completely after downloading your vagrant come here to your virtual box and if you are using windows click here windows host virtual box 6.13 and down here windows host click on it and you should be able to download it since I have downloaded both Vagrant and VirtualBox, I post my download. But for you, all you have to do is let them download. Depending on your internet connection, it may be very fast or very slow. Whatever the case is, just allow it to download. And once it's done downloading, you will click on this arrow here and open when done open when done for the both of them or you could manually double click and they would open after they open do well to give it all the necessary permissions for windows it's so simple just click next 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 till it's done do that for your virtual box and then your vagrant so after downloading it make sure you install them if you download it on your computers and you don't see them down this left corner you could also see them by checking your downloads in your file manager you should see them there after downloading it this and installing we go to the next step which actually has to do with our command prompts Remember, this project is optional, but what it does, it, it helps you, even if you are not on the intranet, you are not using the sandbox, you could still do your project from your own computer. So this is a really wonderful tool, our Vagrant and VirtualBox, really, really wonderful tools we can use. The next thing you want to do is open your CMD. So open your CMD, just come down here, type on 
cmd on your search bar or you could write command prompts i should see your command prompts here just open it and it should open personally i prefer to use powershell so i'm going to open power open up powershell this is how they should open powershell is not in your computers by default but command prompt or cmd is in every window device by default so just use your command prompt or if you like to use powershell like i do you could use powershell here in your powershell make sure you are in users slash the name of your computer or whatever name you put there i use boundary so your name here should be different but you should be in the users directory remember you open your command prompt after you have successfully downloaded and installed both your vagrant and your virtual box after that here in your terminal you want to type vagrant box add ubuntu slash focal 64 vagrant box add ubuntu slash focal 64 you want to be extra careful after this press enter this process would take time depending on the speed of your computer and your internet connection so please do not off your internet as you can see there's an active internet connection here or else it wouldn't download i have already downloaded mine before and that is why you can see this message the box you are attempting to add already exists but for you this is your first time so you will not see this message instead you are going to see a message that says successfully added box ubuntu or virtual box if you see that message that says successfully added box ubuntu for virtual box you have done the correct thing the next thing you want to do after that is to type again vagrant init ubuntu slash focal sister four vagrant init ubuntu slash focal sister four you can get these codes in case you're wondering how i got mine you can get these codes from your intranets these messages of what to type in and in what order you can get them from your intranets or you could just follow this video this is just a one-off process so after hitting enter you are not going to do it again so let's hit enter remember i have done mine before so you may see a slightly different message just as you see vagrant file already exists in this directory remove it before running vagrant in it but for you the message you should be getting is vagrant file has been placed in the right directory so you shouldn't see this what you should see is vagrant file has been placed in the right directory if you get any errors do well to read it for example mine says it already exists and yes it does exist because i have already done mine i've 
installed these things already so i would have to remove them before installing them again but basically these are the commands to follow first vagrant box add ubuntu then vagrant init ubuntu slash focal slash 64 next up you want to type vagrant plugin install vagrant dash vb guest that is vagrant plugin install vagrant hyphen vb guest and press enter i have already installed all of this but this did decide to install again so this is a plugin that will help you avoid issues with your vagrants so as you can see this can take a few minutes this process usually takes time depending on one your internet connection and two the speed of your computers so we do want to wait for it patiently wait for it to download you can see mine has installed and it says install the plugin so it has already installed the plugin next up after this you want to do vagrant up when you do vagrant up it's going to start up your virtual machine so it's going to start up your sandbox environment vagrant up you can see it says bringing machine default up with virtual box provider so just follow these steps accordingly i'm using powershell you could decide to use your command prompt totally fine it's totally okay in fact it's recommended you use your command prompt because both command prompt and powershell does basically the same thing so we want to wait for it to bring up our virtual box and then we'll go to the next step But basically what we are doing here is configure our local system to work with our sandbox using a virtual box so we are not using sandbox we are using a virtual box this box would work exactly like sandbox but this box is in our system you can see mine the it clearly says machine already provisioned so simply i have already done all these steps but for the rest of us who have not already done these steps just run your vagrant up it will take some time after that you should see list of different commands running and At the end of the day it should successfully load your vagrant machine your virtual machine after it loads your virtual machine the next thing you want to do is vagrant ssh and press enter so do your vagrant ssh and press enter that's the last step to get you inside your virtual machine as you can see it tells me welcome to ubuntu 20.04 lts and it has changed vagrant at ubuntu dash focal so this change 
remember what we had before was pc slash user slash boundary but after running vagrant ssh it did change to my ubuntu terminal so i'm currently running ubuntu terminal in my windows operating system using this virtual machine from here you can just go ahead with the rest of your tasks just like this if you followed from the beginning and followed all the steps once you see this message i'm going to clear now to keep my working environment clean and once you see this just know that you've successfully installed and started your virtual box if i do ls i can already see my projects that i've done zero day day so this is how to install and set up your virtual machine let's just run through the process again so the first thing you want to do is to download your virtual box if you are using windows do well to click on windows hosts next up download your vagrant by clicking on amd64 install both of them and open your command prompt your cmd here and follow the commands we just did the commands can be found on your intranet so do well to check them out follow the commands and you should achieve these results from these results the next step is to simply go to your projects and do it later on i will drop another explanatory video on your tag zero and tax one using a virtual machine not the sandbox if you have any challenges whatsoever do well to drop it in the comments below you could also contact me via slack or email you could also send whatsapp messages and i will do my best to reply if you have any questions a better solution to actually set up your vagrant and virtual box which i didn't mention do well to also drop it down in the comments below Thank you very much for watching up to this point. Please subscribe to my channel and do have a nice